This video will cover how to install and use the DispatchBot mobile app as a driver. I'm demonstrating the Android version of this application. So if you haven't installed the app yet, go ahead and go to the Google Play Store on your smartphone or tablet and just do a quick search for DispatchBot. Tap on the app and then tap install. And then once it's installed, we're going to launch the application. So we'll give it here a second here. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and tap open. Um, additionally, it'll be viewable uh, from your menu. But we're going to go and open the application. And once you're here, you'll sign in using your driver account. Now, DispatchBot mobile app only works with driver accounts. It does not work with dispatcher accounts. But once you've signed in now, this uh, view is your manifest for the day. Um, so right now, I only have two trips. Uh, each trip is separated into a step. Um, I can tap the calendar or the date to change the manifest that I want to view. I could look at yesterday's, today's, tomorrow's, and then the next day. Uh, here's my refresh button, and in the upper left, my menu button. Uh, tapping the menu button will bring up some additional options, such as um, being able to start my shift. Uh, it shows me the vehicle that I'm assigned, plus my scheduled shift. Um, so to start out my day, um, I'm going to just tap start shift, tap OK, and it'll prompt me to enter my odometer. Uh, this is the odometer at the start of the day. Save, and I will go to my first trip in my manifest. Uh, my most current step will always be at the top. So in this case, I have a 10 a.m. pickup. I'm going to tap that. And it gives me all my trip details, such as the client name, the pickup address, if there was a phone number or any trip specific notes, um, those would be available here. Um, I could add additional notes as well as a driver, which will then be viewable to my dispatchers. At the bottom of the app, there's always your options. Um, these will change depending on what stage of the step that you're on. Uh, but currently, I can do navigate, I can start the trip or I can no-show the trip. Starting the trip um, is my first step. That just lets dispatch know that I am performing uh, this particular trip. I'm on my way to go, in this case, pick him, uh, Pete up at 10 o'clock. Um, again, my options change. Um, I, it now says arrive, but I don't want to hit that yet. So since I'm on my way to this client, I could actually tap navigate which will open up uh, Google Maps and it will give me turn by turn directions from my current location to my next address. Once I get there, uh, I tap arrived to timestamp the time that I actually got to this client's address. Now I go knock on the door, get the client on board into the vehicle and secured. Once the client is secured and I'm ready to drive off, I tap picked up. I enter my updated odometer reading. Save and mark complete. Uh, and now that step is done. It records my odometers. It records my arrival time and my departure time. And so when I go back to my main menu and my manifest, that step is completed. It moves to the bottom, is grayed out and I work on my next step here. In this case, we just picked Pete up. Now we're going to drop him off. So I'm going to tap that. Um, I can again do navigate to get turn by turn directions. There's no start uh, option because I've already started this particular leg. Um, each leg will always have a pickup and a drop off. The client is already on board. So now I'm on my way to drop him off at his appointment. Uh, so once I get there, I tap Arrived to timestamp the time that I got there. Um, I can then tap Sign to let my passenger uh, sign 
on the smartphone or the tablet using their finger. And then we tap save to save that signature. Um, now I will get my client into his chair or into his appointment, uh, whatever the case may be. And once my client is in the building ready to go and I'm sitting back in my driver's seat ready to go to my next trip, I tap complete. I enter my updated odometer reading, save and mark complete, and now that leg is done. It records the signature, records my odometer, uh, the arrival time, and the departure time. So when I go back to my manifest, those two steps, uh, those get moved to the bottom, and I just work on my the next trip in my list. Um, in this case, uh, it's a client, uh, we're picking him back up at 12.15, so I can just wait around um, or wait for a will call, uh, whatever whatever my uh, policy is. But as a driver, um, with the m native app, um, I'm able to get uh, trip updates instantly from uh, my dispatchers. If there's any changes uh, or additions or cancellations, I will actually get those once the app refreshes um, in my mobile app. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out this B leg. We're going to pretend that my dispatcher says he is not going to be going to his next appointment. And so then when my app refreshes, that trip gets moved to the bottom. Um, it gets the black background white text to signify that you had this trip at one point, but now it's been canceled. Um, additionally, if there's any additions um, to your manifest, like a will call trip, once my app refreshes, I will get those additions on my uh, smartphone or my tablet. That way I could perform the trip just like I had it at the beginning of the day. So that's really much it's for the, uh, the mobile app. Um, once you're done for the day, you're going to want to go ahead and log out for the day, which will timestamp the time you um, ended your shift and record all that information back into the dispatch bot system.